All right, so this here is the Inovos kit. Um, obviously, I have built it. Um, so I'm just going to go through what was received and what I've built and everything. So uh, here we've got the uh, the blaster holster. It's pretty thick. It's, a, it's a very good quality. It's a little thicker than I'd like it to be, but it is good quality. So got that. Got the uh, thermal thermal detonator. Had to be put together, of course. Um, this is the helmet. And the helmet was uh, pre-assembled when I got it as part of the kit, which is great because I didn't want to build that. Um, I don't know if you've seen any videos of the unboxings, but you'll notice that this piece here, I mean, you have some modifications as you still, but um, this piece in here was always, uh, always open. Um, also, some of these pieces in here didn't quite fit properly, so I, I kind of reinforced them with some duct tape for now. Um, this was also unglued, um, so what I did was I just did some hot glue, fix it up, and got it uh, back up, set up. It looks good. So uh, here's the torso piece. Um, I mean, I put all the belts and or the buckles and the rivets in there. Um, it's being held together right now by some of the Velcro and the uh, two-piece um, belt. It's, uh, it's a fabric with some Velcro in front of it. It's plastic. Um, these I painted, but obviously didn't reinforce it a while because it's uh, a little bit of scratches, but we'll deal with that later. So, all Velcroed in there with everything. Uh, a little trial and error. It's a lot, a lot of trial and error. Um, so what we have here is the soft parts. So we've got uh, the uh, neck liner, which is really handy. A lot of kits don't come with that. Um, gloves, they're pretty much just like rubber dish gloves. Uh, I've got two of those. We've got a two-piece undersuit, um, spandex. Um, really makes you feel sexy when you put it on. And uh, we've got also these different pieces. Um, building it was kind of... Um, I, would, I just kind of got a little confused at some points. I knew that there were certain parts, like these two, um, you know, they're not symmetrical because there's different pieces in there. But um, the arms, the arms, uh, one of them has this like little thumbprint divot. Uh, this one does not. And um, also these pieces don't fit quite the same. Uh, this one's a lot bigger. And this one's, you know, this got different pieces in different areas so it feels different right so i always thought that you have to make sure that you're putting on the right side so uh we've got the uh the inner thigh uh left and right i've marked them here with this uh blue and then uh red for right this makes it a lot easier so i've kind of done that throughout the entire thing um again asymmetrical we've got this ammo built thing here and uh, nothing there Got the handguard stuck to here. Uh, this is a modification I did myself. Um, you'll notice that uh, these pieces are kept on your hands like this. I noticed they slipped off pretty quickly. So what I did was I added this uh, modification here. It's just a um, just a strap um, with Velcro on both sides, and it goes in and hooks inside there. That way. It's not only holding on your hand, but it's it's not coming off because this slips off so easily. Uh, you've also got your uh, shoulder bells here. Um, you got like something here to keep your arm in there as well, which is really handy. Um, and then um, they strap into the top there. So um, that should be all of the pieces here. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna um, start putting everything on. Um, don't have the white boots just yet. Didn't come as part of the kit. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use these black boots for now just for um, get some white ones later on actually as a bonus here what I've done is um, kind of just got a Hasbro Hasbro um, blaster 11 blaster I'm just gonna put it in I mean I'm just gonna put it in there I guess just for show um, still working on it I um, got a Hasbro blaster kind of cut off some pieces repainted it put some aluminum foil tape in there um, Got some more parts coming to uh, mod it out and make it look more like the original blaster. So here you can see um, some of the um, the Velcro and stuff that I've put together. So 
Uh, these are keeping the front in there from the back. Um, this is a strip here. Uh, we've got some of these side ones. One's actually riveted in. Um, actually buttoned in. And then this one snaps to this side, which uh, has some more Velcro on that side. And we've got three of them on this side, all Velcro. Uh, the butt piece. Uh, this one can be chopped right here, um, so you can actually sit down. Uh, I may do it in the future. Don't know how much sitting down with you, but uh, probably will be. Um, these are hooking to the back. And, um, it's all about getting the placement correct. So a lot of refitting and fitting and stuff like that. Um, the adhesive on the uh, stuff that comes with it is not super great. So um, it's kind of a good thing and it's a bad thing because uh, if you get it in a place where you want it, it's going to come off half the time when you only zip it. Um, but it's a good thing because uh, if you're using the industrial strength stuff, it's not going to come off. So I think what you should do is use the stuff that comes with it, get all the fitting, everything the way you want it, and then um, get some of the industrial strength stuff and place it exactly where you need it once you know where that is because it ain't coming off after that. Perfect example of like, as to why I recommend industrial strength um, Velcro. This here, uh, garbage so um this is the clamshells here and they go through a lot more wear and tear than everything else because of the uh, you know the way you set it up right so i mean this here is just kind of your blah garbage stuff so what i would recommend i looked at uh, rona it's a home hardware place in canada they have Industrial Velcro for about 10 bucks. Uh, it's white too, which is great, but strips back and forth. So what I do is recommend doing that because every single time I open this thing, and I haven't worn it too many times, um, this comes right off. I mean, the Velcro part's okay, but the adhesive on the back is just pure crap. So um, I'd recommend getting some higher end stuff and doing that for both both the clamshell parts at least. Um, those are the one part. Those are the parts that I have the most trouble with as far as shitty adhesive. So uh, first thing I do is wear, put the neck seal on before you put the shirt on, otherwise it's going to be real pain in the butt. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with the hardest parts. Those are going to be these guys. So these are kind of a clamshell thing. You're going to have red, red on the right. Uh, actually you want to put these on first. So put the Right one on. Left one on. Okay. And then we're going to get the right clamshell on. Some clamshells. Get on there tight. The other one on. Shoes on. I'm gonna snap these in. Take these little Velcro pieces, try to get them in the sides. Try to line it up at the same time.
keeping the whole thing high. Yeah. Fitting is going to take a long time just to get the thing to fit you properly. I'm putting it on and taking it off a lot. Okay. So I'm going to put this part on here first. Make things a little easier. Okay, and this elastic key part is for the shoulder bell. I always have to remember that, otherwise I put it on now. There you go. Got one. And then, elastic. Whole time you gotta kind of make sure it fits properly. And there we go. Okay, and now with this belt on, you can kind of help things fit a little bit better. Tighten everything in. And then there we go. So you get the hardest part done. Okay, make sure everything fits properly. Now for the shoulder bells. Okay. Got some snapping going on in here. This side piece is kind of a pain in the butt. Modifications that I do in there. Anyway, so now we have the shoulder bells. Um, what I like to do is I like to put the shoulder bell up it up to the appropriate side of the arm. Then I like to hook that up to this last part here. I don't let it hang off like that. And then do the same thing with the right. Like that. that allows me to get the elastic exactly where I want it to be. If it's not tight enough, it's going to have like a big gap in between here. And you don't want that, it looks kind of fun. So I don't know. Kind of like a t shirt. I'm going to kind of put it on, slide my arms inside, and I'm all in. Adjusting these peach piece as you go. Bicep really has to go up in order to get that maneuverability. And then you've got these hanging things here, which I'll put over the elbows. One thing I almost forgot though. Thing. Real pain in the butt to put on yourself. If you have a friend, I'd recommend it. If you don't, like me, you gotta kinda get a knack for that. And there we go. I don't know if that's side enough. I have to go think it is. Maybe on the right. And there you go. On the side. Now I'm just going to do the same thing with the other right arm. So that shoulder belt in the part. It's going to have to put that back around. Go. Just. There, pull that up just a little bit. I know you got the majority of it now. I'm just gonna put gloves on. They just kind of go on. 
Make sure you stuff them all the way in the back here. Both. And there you go. Now I'm just going to kind of clip these on with these little bands. Voila! Majority of the difficult armor. It took me forever to be able to do this. Um, still have some work, obviously. So I've got the helmet. I'm going to turn it sideways. Make sure these bicep pieces are up so you've got them in the mobility you need. And then turn it sideways. On. And Got his last there. Try to put it in the bowl here if you need. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Not really uncomfortable. It's not super comfortable, but uh, overall I'd recommend it. It's high quality. It uh, makes you feel powerful. It's not like you can hit anything with the laser, but whatever.